Oh my god, I just got the phone call! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I just got the phone call from my agency. I'm gonna be picking up a baby girl. She's two days old. So on Tuesday, I was just working out right over here. I pulled out all my workout stuff and I was working out. And literally, as I just like started getting into it, my phone rang. I ran over to my phone and it was the social worker from the, um, my, the, from my agency. And she was telling me that they had a baby girl. She was two days old and they wanted me to come pick her. I want to say that sometimes I get some feedback from people that aren't comfortable with my videos and how much I document and talk about the system. The reason I'm making these videos is because when I went to go foster, I didn't know anything. And I looked online and there was no information. No one was talking about this process. I've had people tell me, Kevin, your videos are exactly what I wish I had when I was starting the foster journey. So to those that are uncomfortable with these videos, this is the reality. Like foster care is an up and down roller coaster process. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch first off. And second, to those of you who have supported me along this journey and to those of you who have said continue doing this and thank you for this, you've given a lot of insight and those of you who have been the people who have said, oh my goodness, I'm experiencing the same thing, thank you because that helps me and the goal is to educate people about the realities of being a foster parent and sometimes it's crazy, sometimes it's exciting, sometimes it's there's things that I probably don't even know yet because I'm still in this process. So, all right, now let's get started. <laughs> you guys have no idea how excited I am. I, okay, so I'm gonna, I have to get like, first off, let me clean this lens. Is that any better? That's better. I have, let me calm down. I have been thinking, I was driving the other day and I have a car seat that's a rear facing car seat and I have one of those little mirrors that you put on the headrest so you can see the child. And I was driving yesterday and something made me look at that mirror and I, I saw a little girl giggle and laugh at me. And it made me laugh as I was driving and just thinking of the innocence of children. And I've been wanting a little boy, but the last couple of weeks I've just been like, oh my goodness, it's gonna be a girl they call me with. And it's a little girl and I'm so excited. She's two days old. I, I know more details. I'm not gonna give those details out. Um, but basically she's two years old. Just, I cannot wait to meet her. I cannot wait to meet you. Um, I'm excited. So the realities are there's a chance that, you know what, no. I'm excited to meet my little girl. I'm gonna get in the shower. I was working out when I got this phone call. I'm gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna run to Target and purchase some things that I need, some clothing, um, and wait for them to call me with more details. So, woo! The day is here, it's here. Lake, it's here. The day's here, the little baby's coming. Oh my goodness. Thank you, God. I'm so excited. So excited, the animals are going crazy too. <laughs> the realities so I just got a message from my social worker at my agency and apparently a father has stepped up they don't they're a little skeptical if he's actually the father so we just gotta wait until the morning until a warrant can be gotten and uh, they find out for sure if this is the father or not. So, I have high hopes. I feel good still. It's a little disheartening, but we'll see. Just gotta get through the night. Still thinking about that little baby. That little girl. 
I am taking the advice of many people and just using this evening to get some rest. Um, whew, so we are going to, I guess in the morning, they're gonna try and get another warrant or get a warrant um, for the child, for the baby. And um, that's all we can go off of. Um, we just gotta wait for, see what happens. I know there's people praying for me. There's people that are crossing their fingers, staying really positive right now. I'd be lying if I said this wasn't constantly in my mind at the moment, but you know, I just turned off the TV and just, I have this heated blanket. Oh, it feels amazing. Um, and just like, I'm just gonna rest, just rest because I do have a feeling that things are going to work out great and tomorrow is going to be day one of the rest of my life. And I'm really excited. So it is uh, the next day. Today is Wednesday. Um, I actually slept really, really well last night. And I went this morning to a ho uh home appraiser I, appraisal I had to get an appraisal done for a house I was helping someone purchase I am helping someone purchase and that was good because I needed to just get out and do something but now I'm home I spoke with my cousin and told him the good news I spoke with the agency today uh, and they are reaching out to Department of Children's Services and finding out an update for us and it's literally just a matter of continued waiting I get in this place where like I you know, this is a lot for anyone. You might be picking up a child from a hospital that's a few days old. I will be, not might, will be. Um, and you know that you can do nothing other than wait. And this is one of those things about, everyone says about the, the foster care world experience space is that there's so much waiting, so much waiting. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've got a lot of work done today. Uh, and I, I'm grateful that, that I have this moment to just wait, to just sit and be and exist in what's, what's happening right now. I cannot wait to pick that little girl up and hold her and let her know she's loved and safe. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. I will check back in as I get more information. Peace out. I have an update. It didn't work out. Um, long story short, someone stepped up and said that they were the father. Because of the situation the mother was in, they believe that they are lying about who the father is. And basically without a ton of details, the judge was unable to grant a warrant. So they can't take the baby. Here's what pisses me off. Now that baby sits in the hospital at three days old. No parents around. And sits in the hospital. Now, I know like there's people that hold babies and they take care of the babies. Like, I know it's a good spot for the baby to be, but at the same time, newborn babies of any condition need physical touch, bonding, body heat, heartbeat from their parent. And I think it's honestly a little disgusting that a judge did not deem it appropriate to grant a warrant to put this child in a home that's going to love her and take care of her. They're not granting the warrant. It's bullshit. Babies should not have to be around that crap. So rather than put a child in a loving home, you'd rather let that child sit in a hospital. Makes no sense. These are the politics that so many people hate about this country and hate about um, 
you know, systems like this, government systems, these politics that are involved. When the only thing that matters is that that child is in a loving home. I don't get it. I don't get it. Whatever. So now we go back to the waiting table. Let's go back to the waiting table and pray. And I have been. I've been praying for that little girl. That she's safe. Bye. So there you have it. I did not get to pick up this child. And like I said before, it is painful. It is, it's hard. And I still, till today, a couple of days later, still think about this little girl that I, I've never met. And I hope that she is being cared for. I hope that some nurse at the hospital feels a pull to her to care for her and love her and support her and hold her. Um, and that's it for now. So I hope I hope the next video I put out <laughs> is a video where I've picked up a child for you guys. So again, thank you to everyone who's watched, who sticks around, who supports, who comments. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Um, and if you have any questions for me, please comment below. And yeah, that's it for now. All right, guys. Bye.